Well, 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 well. Hello, everybody. What's the whole universe? Hope everything is fine and I'm a Russian man who brings value to my own experience. And today we have the Russian language lesson about the chemistry, about the atoms of our world. I'm so glad to see it, and I'm in a good mood, really. And I'm ready to translate to you Wikipedia pages <laughs> that are super scientist-like. But we know that scientific stuff it is the best stuff that we can learn in Russian language because if you know scientific stuff then you understand any other stuff in our life and you de can describe anything in our life because some subjective words you can learn it on internet easily like it's good it's bad it's good it's bad but scientific it is almost almost uh, sometimes theory is kind of rejected and denied and uh, kind of we have new theory against this theory but uh, Mostly, science is kind of truthful, okay? Rationalism we have in our life and love is, uh, it is truthful, but we can, uh, can see this, we can feel it, uh, kind of, okay? Let, let, let's go to the atoms. We will learn it together. First of all, let's read in Russian. I will read it. I am a Russian man and I can read in Russian. And then I will translate it to you how I understand it in English. And you will kind of associate it with your things in your mind. You will associate it in your abstract model of your neural networks. Neural networks, okay? It is inside of your brain. And let's go. Atom. An atom. Good. Частица – вещества микроскопических размеров и массы, наименьшая часть химического элемента, являющаяся носителем его свойств. Let's translate it. Particles or the part of the, of the matter. Вещество – it is si si how, how to say it? It is not a sequence. It is – you have a word for it. Sub substance. It is the particle of a substance. And it measured in a microscope's measures. Размер it, размер, it is size, it is a mass, it is E, it is preposition that, that we know. It, yes, 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 preposition. Preposition. Preposition, союз in Russian language, it is conjunction preposition. And let's translate it fully. It is the particle of the substance that has a size super small as a penis of the plankton, like a microscopic size and mass, okay? Наименьшая часть химического элемента. The most smallest part of the chemical element. Наименьшая часть. It is the, small, this, the most smallest part of chemical element, okay? Являющаяся носителем его свойств. That has the the features that has some something like it is parent parentness parentness do you know you have a parent you have a child and nasitil it is kind of child of a parent it is kind of subset we have set in math theory mathematics and set as we have huge set and we have subset street substreet you understand it and this the same nasitil it is kind of the I will translate it, by the way, right now. Let's trans... Carrier, medium, vector. Carrier, I think, that here, but I will call it more like a child. Child of his... of his features. Okay? We understand it. Good. Атомы состоят из ядра и электронов, точнее, электронного облака. Ядро атома состоит из протонов и нейтронов. Количество нейтронов в ядре может быть разным. От нуля до нескольких десятков. Let's translate it. Atoms contain, atoms composed, compounded. We can translate it. Состоят, it means contains, compounded, composed, designed, kind of what's inside. Состоят, it means состояние, our attitude, we can say, or maybe our consistency, our current circumstances. It is different types of uh, meanings of synonyms that we can give to this word. In this correctness, uh, in this, in this uh, meaning, we say that contains. The kernel is ядра. It is kind of состоят is. It is the specific word plus the preposition. It is like put in, put out, yes? 
some of the political stuff. Okay, <laughs> atoms contains kernels and electrons. And it is tachnie, it means, but if we will say it more correct, it means kind of. Tachnie, more precisely, accurate, exact, precise, okay, it's kind of, I mean this. In, in the scientific way, we say that it is more precisely. Elektronova oblka. Electron cloud. Cloud with quotes. And uh, elektron oblka, что это такое? Наглядная модель, отражающая распределение функции плотности вероятности обнаружения электрона в атоме или молекуле, молекуле в зависимости от энергии электрона. Let's translate it. It is the illustrated model. Наглядная means illustratable or something that we can illustrate. Display. Наглядная, that you can see it, okay? Наглядная, because взгляд. Взгляд, it is sight. Sight looking, sight like model that shows, отражающая, it is mirroring. Mirroring or showing, presenting, распределение. It means distribution. Функции плотности, вероятности обнаружения электрона. Let's translate it. Function of density, of probability, of detecting the electron. In atom. В атоме. Или молекуле. Or in a molecule. В зависимости от энергии электрона. With the dependence of the energy of the electron. Good. We understand it. Ядро атома состоит из протонов и нейтронов. The kernel of atom contains protons and neutrons. Good. Количество нейтронов в ядре может быть разным. The quantity of neutrons in, kernel, in a kernel could be different from zero, от нуля, до нескольких десятков. To many different. Десятки means the decades. We can translate it as tens, like ten, dozens, uh, but... Dozen in a mini of ten. Here is decade, decker, ten. Tens, we can call it. Десятки in Russia, it is ten, twenty, thirty, десять, двадцать, тридцать. Let's go next. Если число электронов совпадает с числом протонов в ядре, то атом в целом оказывает, оказывается электрически нейтральным. If the, if the number of electrons, if the quantity of electrons are the same, совпадает, it means that it has the same, it's uh, relatively the same, it is simultaneously, we can translate it, matches, matches, yes, coins, uh, coins, uh, coincides, if the quantity of electrons coincides or matches with the number of protons in kernel, с числом протонов в ядре, то атом в целом оказывается электрически нейтральным. Then the atom in total. В целом. В целом means in... If we look at this, like uh, we can say it fully. Yes, в целом. В целом, like if we look at the full big picture. Оказывается электрически нейтральным. It has the electricity neutral... Electricity neutral feature. Электрически нейтральный, it means uh, the electricity zero in a meaning of chemistry. В противном случае он обладает, он обладает некоторым положительным или отрицательным зарядом и называется ионом. In an opposite way, в противном случае, in an opposite meaning, in a polar way, it, it has some, some positive... Positive in a meaning that plus, positive or negative, заряд. Заряд, it is uh, charge, uh, charge, charge, load, cartridge, filling, filler. One moment, uh, we can translate, electron charge, yes. Positive or negative charge. Negative in a meaning that it is minus. И называется ионом. And it calls ion. Good. В некоторых случаях под атомами понимают только электронейтральные системы, в которых заряд ядра равен суммарному заряду электроном, тем самым противопоставляя их электрически заряженным ионам. Let's translate it. 
In some cases, в некоторых случаях, в случае it means case or way or some synonyms of it, под атомами, под атомами понимают только электронейтральные системы. The atoms are the only, only, только, just, only, or only, okay? It is the electronatural systems. Electronatural means that maybe stability of the charges, like zero. It is the balance of the universe. And a kind of monk, monk temple is here в которых заряд ядра равен суммарному заряду электронов. In which way the charge of the kernel equals to the sum, sum of the charges of electrons. Therefore, тем самым, тем самым in this way, and if we will, thereby, thereby we can say, thereby, if we will polar, Противопоставляет, it is the verb kind of, of comparing. Comparing in a polar, we compare. Тем самым, thereby, in a polar way. А, ah, how to say it correct. Let's translate it in English. <laughs> I will use it. Thereby opposing them to, electric, to electrically charged ions. Okay. Okay, yes, it is uh, the correct meaning. Thereby oppos opposing them to electrically charged ions. Good. Ядро, несущее почти всю, более чем 99,9% массу атома, состоит из положительно заряженных протонов и незаряженных нейтронов, связанных между собой при помощи сильного взаимодействия. Let's start slide it. The kernel that has that carrying... The ha that has or carrying almost everything, almost whole, almost every part, like все, all, whole, okay? More than 99.9% of mass atom, like it has almost full mass of atom, the, the kernel, contains or has in a compound contains all, all positive, positive, positive charged protons and non-charged neutrons. Neutrons and protons, it is two different types of, uh, of what's inside of the atom. Связанных между собой при помощи сильного взаимодействия. Linked between each other by using the Сильное взаимодействие. Сильное взаимодействие – it is the strong, it is specific term. Let's translate it how it is in English. It is connection, strong interaction. Strong interaction. Interaction is, it, it is взаимодействие. Strong – it is сильный. Good. Атомы классифицируются по количеству протонов и нейтронов в ядре. Число протонов Z соответствует порядку номеру атома в периодической системе Менделеева и определяет его принадлежность к некоторому химическому элементу, а число нейтронов N – определенному изотопу этого элемента. Good, let's first slide it. Atoms classified by the number of protons and neutrons in their kernels. The number of protons Z shows, re relatively shows, relatively presents Simultaneously presents, соответствует, it is, uh, we can translate it. Corresponds, matches, meets, conforms, satisfies, uh, coincides, measures, and etc. Then the orderal number, orderal means that we can kind of count it, orderal number of an atom in a periodic system of Mendeleev. And... It shows, it determines, определяет, it determines, defines, и определяет его принадлежность к некоторому химическому элементу. Mm -hmm. And determines his, his subsettingness or childness, this kind of принадлежность. Here it is the being a part of something. Let's start with it. Affiliation, accessories. Utensils. Привет! 
utensils, к некоторому химическому элементу, к to some, to a specific chemical element. А число нейтронов n, and the number of neutrons n, two. It is the specific symbol in Russian, defis we call it. And uh, how, how we call it in English, by the way? It is hyphen or the, it is uh, tire, we call it two, dash, dash blank, okay. And the number of neutrons to the specific isotope of this element. Isotope, let's go, let's uh, look at this. It is the, I think that uh, it is the same in English. Isotope, yes, are two or more types of atoms that have the same atomic number. Okay. Этого элемента. Единственный стабильный атом, the only one stable atom, не содержащий нейтронов в ядре, not containing the neutron in the kernel, it is легкий водород, протий. The light, light hydrogen, I think so. Hydrogen, yes. Hydrogen. And other his name, protei. And let's find out what's name. Isotopes of hydrogen. Deuterium, tritium, protium. Protium, you have it. Число Z также определяет суммарный положительный электрический заряд. The number of Z also determines, shows the sum of the positive electrical charges. Z, X, E. It means that we can calculate it. Z multiplied by E. By e. Атомного ядра и числа электронов в нейтральном атоме. The atom atom kernel and the number of electrons in natural atom. You maybe noticed that I speak kind of differently right now because of the environment changed and changed uh, mental environment and my thinking too because of the different variables in our house. I mean, uh, in a programming way, but uh, in the life way and human way, it is uh, my grandma appeared and it's okay. And I said then, hello. Задающий его размер. That shows, that determines his, its charge. Okay. Задающий. Let's uh, translate it how it is. It is setting. Setting, yes. Атомы различного вида в разных, в разных количествах, связанные межатомными связями, образуют молекулы. Межатомными, межатомными связями. Межатомными связями. Okay, let's translate it. Atoms of different types in different, ty in different numbers of quantities linked by interatom connections they they set they compound they create the molecules good good really good we learned it and let's look at the elements elementary частицы we can open it maybe here is the elementar particles elementar particles that we have elementary частицы in russian language Вещество, бозон Хиггса, переносчики взаимодействия. The substance, бозон of Хиггс, бозон Хиггса, let's not let it, it is something. Хиггс бозон. And вещество, it is substance. Substance, matter, yes, agent stuff. Okay. Бозон Хиггса, переносчики взаимодействия. The transporters of inter interaction transporters переносчики means that they has it and they can bring it to some places like a doorman or a bellboy in a hotel yes they bring you a luggage кварки лептоны quarks leptons i think that they are translated the same way фотоны w e z бозоны It means uh, W and Z bosons, photons, gluon, gluone, gravitone, gravitationionomes, <laughs> maybe adrone, adrons, mesone, mesons, barione, barions, nuclone, nuclons, atoms, atoms, molecules, molecules. 
составные частицы the compounded particles. Взаимодействие и теория. Взаимодействие и теории. Let's translate it. The interactions and theories. And it is compounded particles. And it is elementary particles. It is three different fields. Электромагнетизм. Электромагнетизм. Слабое. It is the type of the interaction. Weak. Weak interaction. Сильная. Strong interaction. Гравитация. Gravitation. Квантовая гравитация. Quantile. Quantinium. Quants. Quant gravitation. Квантовая хромодинамика. Quantum chromodynamics. Квантовая электродинамика. Quantus electrodynamicus. <laughs> It is something like Harry Potter style. I don't know what's translation to English, but you maybe understand it. It is some stuff. It is the same because it is near the... It is the international name. Электрослабая теория. Electroweak theory. Теория великого объединения. The theory of the great compoundness. I think that it is. Теория великого объединения. Теория великого объединения. Grand unification theory. Wow. But if we will use here this. Yes, I think that. Теория всего. Theory of everything. You maybe remember theory of strings. Okay, let's learn something more. We will learn more about the mod model Thompson. It will be our model of Thompson. I remember in my school I was reading about it in my physics in my ninth grade. I was reading about it, how he created it and how he used uh, gold, I think so. And uh, some, I remember pictures even from my school book. Let's read it. Модель Томпсона. Иногда также называют пудинговая, пудинговая модель атома. Ah, I remember. Mo model of Thompson. Sometimes it is called as model of the pudding. Pudding, I don't know what's name, how to, how to translate it. Pudding. Yes, you call it this way. It is the specific daft part. It is uh, like in Russia we call it also cake. Cake. Model atom, предложенный в 1904 году Джозефом Джоном Джоном Томпсоном. Model of an atom that was uh, showed to the society, showed to the all the social social places. Предложенный means that it was given, offered, showed, presented, the proposed, proposed, in 1904 year by Joseph John Thompson. And, let's start with next. Вскоре после, открытия, про, вскоре после открытия электрона, но еще до открытия атомного ядра, модель попытались объяснить два неизвестных тогда свойства атома что электроны являются отрицательно заряженными частицами, и что атомы не имеют части... ч... чистого электрического заряда. In, вскоре, it means in a short period of time, in short, in, like, in a small portion. Вскоре, let's translate it, by the way. Soon, soon, shortly, before long, presently. Mm -hmm. Shortly, we'll call it soon. Soon after the presenting of electron or Relevation of electron, but not yet opening of the atomic kernel model. Попытались объяснить. Tr this model was tried, was tried, model was tried to be, was tried to be said, was tried to be explained, explained by два известных тогда свойства атома. Ah, this model sh wanted to show or wanted to present, wanted to, how I said it, to clarify, clarify, explain, explain two, two major, two major features, two famous, two known, two known here's, known as, uh, like, you know about it, two known features of atoms. Тогда, it means in those years. Two features of atoms. 
first, что электроны являются отрицательно заряженными частицами, that electrons, they are the negative charged particles, negative in the meaning of minus, and that atoms, they don't have the pure electrical charge, or the, oh, something happened, it, it means чистый here, it is pure, or the correct, or the kind of, the whole system, in this meaning, I think so, it is a specific pure, clean, net, clear, clear, maybe, clear and uh, pure, uh, neat, neat too is good for it, electrical charge, модель пудинга с изюмом, model of a cake, cake with, with, uh, how to say, grapes, grapes, or like, you know, you can see this, it is a cake with, a, it is a rounded object, 3D object, with specific electrons inside, inside. and uh, here is model of the pudding with, let's just let it, zoom, it is the raisins, raisin, plum, plum, model of the pudding with plums, or model of a pudding with uh, insides, model of a model of a cake with uh, grapes, like for dried grapes, has electrons that are covered, or maybe enhanced, or uh, kind of around we have them, окруженные объемом положительного заряда, that are covered by a volume of the positive charge подобно отрицательно заряженным изюмингом. In a comparing, by an analogy of... and uh, by an analogy or as an analog of the negative, negative charged plums. Negative charged, uh, what we were saying, raisins. Yes, dried grapes. That are injected inside of the positive charged pudding, positive charged cake. Встроенным means injected, or maybe implanted, or made it inside. Built in. Built in, yes, too. Okay, good. We understood it, and uh, let's also read about last, but not least, I think that about electron. What is it? And uh, you will understand it better. One moment. Electron. Electron. Стабильная отрицательно заряженная элементарная частица. Считается фундаментальной, не имеющей, насколько это известно, составных частей. И является одной из основных структурных единиц вещества. Let's translate it. Electron. The stable negative charged elementary particle. Okay, we understand it. It, it is considered, it is uh, in a way of society, they say about it, they can say about it, or it means, and we can translate it, counts, regards, ranks, I think that ranks will be good for it too, ranks as a fundamental that has, that has how people know, Насколько это известно, it means that maybe yes, maybe no. As far as is known. Like nobody knows. As far as is known, compounded particles. But maybe we have it. And uh, it is the, like, we know that maybe nope. And it, ha and it is the one of the main structure particles. Structure Structure compounds, structure единиц here, it is no knowns or maybe parts or maybe partici par partition units, units, yes, units, units of the substance. Классифицируется как фермион, обладает спином равным одной второй и как лептон. Спин это specific, oh, I remember, I remember in my... In my university, I was doing the the declaration about it. I was speaking about it. It was my presentation, I mean, public speaking. 
and it is classified as a fermion. And uh, fermion частица или quasi частица с полуцелым значением спина. The particle or quasi particle with uh, one half of the meaning of the return of the function of the spin. Обладает спином. It has a spin. Spin – собственный момент импульса элементарной частицы. It is the, the own, the current, like, based on me. Собственный means, like, I have a property. Proprietal. Mine. Yes, own moment of impulse of elementary particle. Имеющий квантовую природу и не связанный с движением частицы как целого. Has a quant, quant nature and not connected with the movement of a particle as a whole piece. Whole main piece. It means that particles inside of it, they are, uh, could do something. Обладает спином, равным одной второй. It has a spin that has one half of the, like, rotation. И как лептон. Лептон, it is the specific meaning. Лептон – фундаментальные частицы с полуцелым спином, не участвующих в сильном взаимодействии. Fundamental particles with half of the spin that are not inside of the strong interaction, strong communication. Let's go next. Единственный, наравне со своей античастицей позитроном, из известных заряженных лептонов, являющийся стабильным, являющийся стабильным. One of the whole sequence, one of them, one of others. Единственный means that one in, in this condition, one of this sequence of everything. Единственный one of them in a equaling part, in a equaling part with his own anti-particle, positronum, it means uh, anti-particle anti is a positron, from the well-known charged leptons that are stable, являющиеся стабильным. Электроны образуют электронные оболочки атомов, строение которых определяет большинство оптических, электрических, магнитных, механических, химических свойств вещества. Electrons are grouping, are compounding, they are creating, creating a compound of electric, electron clouds, electron, electron, I think not clouds, electron covers. Оболочка means the Out, out form, out form of creation, the covering. Let's translate it with uh, a better shell. Out form shell atom. It, it creates out form shell of atoms. Строение которых определяет большинство оптических, электрических, магнитных, механических, химических свойств вещества. And his construction site, his, his compoundness, his... His way of creation, like what's inside of the electron, determines they, their compoundness, they determines many majority of optical, electrical, magnet, mag, magnet and mechanical, mechanical and chemical features of the substance, of the matter. Движение электронов обуславливается протекание электрического тока. The movement of the electron shows, interacts, it is the main, the main person who does it, like his way of electron, like motion of the electron determines, обуславливает, it is the main statement for doing it, if statement. Stipulates, determine, condition, stipulate, govern, postulate, control. It's, uh, I think that postulate will be good. Postulates the kind of flowing of the electrical circuit in many of the... Проводник, it is the flow, f flow, flow sequence, flow particle, flow like diodes and uh, transistors. We can translate it. 
conductors. Conductors, yes, it will be a good one, really. In many types of con how I said it? Conductors, yes. In a particle way, in a part form, like in in this particular particular instance, in instance, in metals. Let's translate it. In Russian, движение электронов обуславливает протекание электрического тока во многих проводниках, в частности в металлах. Mm -hmm. Next. В рациональной системе единиц Комптон... Комптоновская? Yes. Комптоновская. One moment. Need to translate it and uh, need to interact it with sound. I don't know how... Комптоновская. Комптоновская. It is uh, said correct. В рациональной системе единиц Комптоновская длина волны электрона является единицей длины, а масса электрона — единицей массы. In a rational system of units, Com Compton, Comptonov, Comptonov uh, length of the way, wave, wavelength of electron, it is the measure of the length, and mass of electron is the measure of the math, mass. Okay, we know that the Compton. Compton length is a is a length of <laughs> it is a length measure of length and mass of electron it is the mass of uh, everything I think so in Compton Compton in a rational system of units okay so. Thank you a lot for watching this video. I hope you maybe enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, really. Because uh, it is uh, why I said maybe. Because if you started to watch it, then you, I think, that enjoyed it. Because it is the stuff about the actual things that we have. It is about the atoms. And if you understand this vocabulary, I want to say that you already can communicate with, uh, with really huge amount of PhD and uh, I think that master's degree people because it is language of them in real life we use kind of forms of speaking like определяет, determines or something but we speak it in a really formal way and in a really formal way if you want to be like grammatically corrected grammatically правильным if you want to be then you need to know them and uh, if you want to make the feeling of another person like Jesus Christ, this person really smart. And uh, if you want to make this person feel this way, or at least uh, you want to show that you are really smart to people, then it is uh, really a huge, uh, a huge thing to learn. I highly recommend to read uh, some of the Wikipedia pages in Russian, but in a way of more that are not super subjective fields about history i don't fully recommend about but if you want to kind of to search it okay it's it's your it's your choice because all that are historical content on Wiki, wikipedia it is not really correct for one in a meaning of like correctness it is subjective okay we should know you, you understand that history is subjective, but about physician th stuff, about chemistry, mathematician, music stuff, and something that are measured, then in m that measured uh, in a way of numbers. Yes, history is measured by this, but in a meaning of like, it is the dictionary, glossary, or something that I highly recommend to use Wikipedia. It is a good one to use it. And also in Russian language, we have... Uh, Kiberleninka. Kiberleninka is the Kiberleninka. It is the written. It is the articles for science. Good articles. They are kind of. I yes, we can say that are maybe one percent or zero point five percent or maybe two percent. They are kind of not structurized fully, but the top one they are good. We can say it like. In a scientific community, science community, we like it. Like Russian people like it. 
And uh, so, thank you a lot for watching this video. Improve Cell Daily. Let me know in the comment section below what types of topics would you like to know next. Because by reading it, uh, we improve our knowledge. I also improve it because I know this things, but I don't know it like fully inside. Sometimes I read uh, about me. I want to share some facts uh, that sometimes I read in English, the Wikipedia, and uh, to improve my English, and sometimes in Spanish, sometimes in German, to improve my these languages, because I understand that this is one of the good ways to learn. Yes, some people can say that it is too subjective, too, like, uh, not too subjective, but uh, it is a good stuff to read from, because we have sources, and uh, it is more not fully maybe scientific like but it is one of the most popular and it means that all people around the world believe in it and uh, at least you can communicate with huge amount of people and it is uh, better to know it uh, that you can say that i was learning it i was learning that yes and so sometimes you need also many sources of information to determine that it is what it is and sometimes wikipedia says really like, if you will read several books, then Wiki Wikipedia will say to you that, yes, it is uh, really this way working. As if we will count all the things and we will find the, 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 the mean number, the mean meaning. Mean in the meaning of, uh, like, the sum of everything and multiplicated to numbers of everything. Like, uh, we have five elements and we... S summed them, I mean that added each one, we have a sum of these five elements and we, did, we divided it on five, it is a mean in mathematical way of thinking. And uh, the mean, meaning of the, of, of something, it is showed on Wikipedia and I highly recommend to use it in this way. So, thank you a lot for watching this video, improve style daily, go forward, and you know that everything depends only on you, and uh, go forward, you know, you are cool guy or girl, everything will be fine, see ya, improve style daily.